Hello students, this is Dr. Fezan Mirza. I am continuing my discussion of ventilation and diffusion and I am covering the topic of diffusing capacity of lungs. When we are discussing diffusing capacity or measuring diffusing capacity of lung, we know that oxygen transfer across the, uh, uh, the capillary, uh, across the alveoli into the capillary blood is dependent not only on perfusion but only uh, but also on but it is also diffusion limited so there is both a diffuse this uh, uh, this gas deter is depending on the diffusing capacity as well as on uh, perfusion uh, but carbon monoxide as discussed earlier uh, makes use of one and not the other so when we are calculating the diffusing capacity of lungs what do we do we use this formula we allow a person to take in a very um, a very diluted sample of carbon monoxide to be inhaled and we use this formula to calculate the diffusion capacity so dl here represents the diffusion capacity of lungs vco is the volume of carbon monoxide transferred p1 is the alveolar pressure and p2 is the capillary pressure of that particular gas which is carbon monoxide the method is called a single breath test now what's the single breath method in the single breath method a person inspires a diluted mixture of carbon monoxide and this mixture uh, then goes to the alveoli the rate of disappearance of carbon monoxide from the alveolar crest during 10 seconds of breath hold is calculated in that time the person holds the breath while the amount of carbon monoxide that the person uh, allowed to reach the alveoli diffuses into the blood when it diffuses into the blood so we can just uh, see how much how much uh, carbon monoxide got transferred into the blood in that time um, the rate can be calculated we have infrared analyzer which use which actually measures the inspired and expired concentration of carbon monoxide to get the values of p1 and p2 and the volume transferred uh, during the single breath, the the, uh, the 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 this this formula can be applied, and helium can also be added to the inspired gas to give a measurement of the lung volumes by dilution. So you can dilute the carbon monoxide gas with helium and add it to the single breath method. So the person then inhales it, and you can see how much helium and how much uh, helium uh, adds up, ends up diluting carbon monoxide. The rate of reaction with hemoglobin is important because the diffusing capacity of lung is made up of two components. The first is diffusion process itself that the gas must diffuse. And the second is basically that gas, either oxygen or carbon monoxide reacting with hemoglobin. This is the alveolar wall. This is your red blood cell. From the alveolus, if oxygen diffuses, the first thing is diffusing through the alveolar wall, going to the red blood cell membrane, entering the red blood cell cytoplasm. So the gas diffuses. One attribute is covered by diffusion of the gas. The second is the gas forming bond with hemoglobin to form oxyhemoglobin. So the diffusion capacity depends on both. So if you are to calculate the, uh, the this one upon DL, which is one the uh, the reciprocal of diffusing capacity of lungs, one upon DL, this is calculated by one upon DM. DM is the diffusing capacity of the membranes. This year and uh, this the membranes account for this this region as well as this region so this is completely dm whereas this particular is is calculated using uh, using the multiple of uh, rate of oxygen and hemoglobin reaction as well as the volume of blood in the capillary both are multiplied and they are both are one is divided by this value so this actually gives you the diffusion capacity of your lungs and how this reacts with a certain gas that's it from my side. Thank you so much.